Has anyone seen Alicia? She's normally here by now. I haven't seen her. Me neither. It's kind of odd for her. She normally stops and talks. Maybe. You guys planning to write a new roller coaster at King's Island this summer? Uh, I think we should go talk to her. Yeah. I hope she's okay. Alicia, are you okay? What? Are you okay? I'm alright. I've just been having a really rough morning and I'm really stressed out with school right now. Well, how come you haven't said anything? I thought we were friends. We tell each other everything. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with my problems. I know you have your own to deal with. You can always reach out. We're your friends. We're always here to help. Thanks, guys. But we should probably figure out something that we can do to help you. Maybe, like, get caught up in school. We can make a to-do list. Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, sorry for not noticing that you're sad. I can also help. <laughs> Ice cream's on me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. I say it's time to go get this ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I'm too. Let's go. Thank you. I'm actually really excited for this. I know. Yes. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, I'm Adam. And as you can see in that video, two of those friends were socially aware. The other one wasn't quite socially aware. Now, what should you do in this situation? Most people will go over and make sure that friend who is upset is okay. That's called being socially aware. When you're socially aware, you can tell how others are feeling and be able to act upon that. Here are some tips to be socially aware. One, pay attention to your friends. Two, be aware of the surroundings and the social actions going on around there. And three, think before you act. I hope this helps. Thank you and goodbye.